Tim Mater here. I'm outside the greenhouse tonight. Uh, I told you I'd give you a report last week when I cleaned up the greenhouse. I cut some tops out, cut a few suckers out where I had some healthy ones growing, and it's been a week. I stuck them down in a cup of water just like this, had a little bit of fertilizer in it, and uh, this has a little bit of water down in the bottom of this bucket. So I told you I'd report back, and it uh, looks like we got, we got some pretty good success. Um, you can see right there that uh, some of them are really... See those white roots? Man, they're growing like crazy. And I've already stuck a couple of them down in the perlite and got them growing. There's one right there. It only has one little root growing on it. But they did good. Um, what we got here is a, uh, is a big beef. I started from seed. Um, and I transplanted it into a little bit bigger pot from the seed starting plot. But I'm going to rinse this off and I'm going to plant this in hydroponics. I'm going to show you how you can take a plant that's uh, planted in dirt and put it in the hydroponics and it'll do just fine. So hang on just a second and we'll rinse this off. All right, so I'm in here in the greenhouse. This is the uh, plant that uh, I had growing just that I cut out of the top of one of the older plants and put in water and got this roots going right here. I am going to cut this lower um, limb off. And then I'm going to go ahead and plant that right here in my bucket. I'm going to plant it just a little off center. Stick it right down in there like that. And then this is the plant that was growing in the dirt. And so I'm going to go ahead and plant two per bucket just to kind of hedge my bet this fall. One of them decides not to grow, I'll still have another one. And then once I put them in there, I just take the water hose and rinse it right in and that'll fill in the hole good around it and get some and get it nice and wet so there you have it that's uh, two different ways to propagate a tomato one from seed, one from a sucker, uh, one growing in dirt, one growing in water. Put them both in the bucket. We'll see how they do. All right, so I told you I had a, a new source for buckets I found today. I want to talk about buckets for just a minute. These Home Depot buckets and Lowe's buckets sell for $2.99, so three bucks a piece. That's not too bad. One of the uh, commercially made Beto buckets is about $7, and then so you add in the little PVC pipe, you got about 350 in one of these buckets. Kitty litter buckets, if you got a little kitty around, they're free. So you got 50 cents in those. Um, Walmart has the cheapest buckets. The blue Walmart buckets are 250 typically. Um, sometimes they're not in stock though, but I've used those. But today I was eating lunch in Firehouse Subs. And it just so happened I sat where I could see the, the counter and they had this bucket sitting there and it said support firefighters or something in some firefighter uh, fund said uh, buy a bucket for two bucks this is a five gallon it's the what the pickles come in for the firehouse subs and so I bought this five gallon bucket with a top and firehouse subs for two dollars that's a steal man five dollar five gallon bucket for two dollars that's cheap as anywhere Walmart's a 250 two bucks put about um, 50 cents worth of PVC pipe and two elbows in it and for 250 you you've got a Dutch bucket. So I wanted to share that with you. Still out in the greenhouse, getting dark outside, but here's my six new Dutch buckets that I did the series on. I got them completely planted now. I got, uh, I got one tomato in each one of the kitty litters and I got two tomatoes in the Home Depot buckets here. I'm going to see how that goes. If one of them starts doing a lot better than the other one, I'll just clip it off, but I'm kind of hedging my bet for the fall. Maybe one of them will do a little bit better than the other one. Anyway, out here in my greenhouse, this is my little 
homemade greenhouse I did. I'm going to do a series on how to build this thing pretty soon. And um, it's a 12 by 16. I made it out of uh, chain link top rail fence. And uh, I've been real happy with it. I got probably less than $1,000 in it. So uh, I'm going to do a series on how to bend the, how to bend the hoops yourself. And uh, a couple of things that I did, like um, uh, getting the wiggle wire and um, double wall in it. That helped a lot. So just a couple of tips on building greenhouses. I encourage you to you got a good spot to do it. They're not that hard. They're not that expensive. And uh, they'll, they'll give you an early start in the spring and they'll let you grow until late in the winter. Um, like I said, I had ripe tomatoes December last year, all the way the first of the year. Shut the greenhouse down uh, January and February. And uh, then I opened it back up in March, kept a little bit of heat in it, got my uh, stuff going. So, um, yeah, I'd encourage you to build a greenhouse. Look for that series coming up soon. Y'all have a good night. Tim Mater, out. <laughs>